Good afternoon YouTube, um, thank you for joining me in the garden uh, in sunny Essex today. We don't get many sunny days here in England so I thought I would come out to the garden. Um, today we're going to be covering an old tabletop in paper. Um, I'm actually using wallpaper but you can use any sort of paper, wrapping paper, napkins, anything like that. Um, this technique is called decoupage. I'm actually going to be using this which is like a map nautical wallpaper it's actually i tore it off of um, i went into the diy store and i tore it off of a sample roll you don't need that much but obviously it depends what you're covering uh, i'm going to go through exactly what you need um, to get started preparation and also i'm going to show you how to do it so what you'll need is a paintbrush a bowl Try and use something that can be, because you're going to be putting PVA glue in there, which does come off most things, but try and use an old bowl. Uh, I find glass is really good. It seems to wash off of it well, I don't know why. Um, you'll need some PVA. I know it looks like milk. I've just put it in a milk carton because I got it from a really big thing of PVA. But you'll need some PVA and you'll also need, which I've got down there, um, like a washing up bowl or a big bowl because what you actually need to do, and this is the key, you need to soak the backing of the paper and that's what most people don't don't realize and then you get that sort of wrinkled effect so you must soak the back off of it and you must soak the paper but i'm going to go for it all so let's get started this is the little table we're going to be covering the top of it's been painted before and what i've done is i've just given it a little rub down to give it more of a shabby look one thing i would say is just make sure the surface that you're going to be covering the paper uh, is nice and flat because you don't want anything sort of poking through any old varnish uh, PVA will stick to, to pretty much anything, to pretty, you know, any other any surface really. So any IKEA furniture, uh, pine, this is oak, um, but obviously it's painted so it's going to stick over the paint as well. Alright, let's get ready, let's go. Okay, so now you want to get your paper to fit the top of your table. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to rip it to give a sort of a, like it's sort of worn away almost. Um, but if you obviously want it to be perfect, then measure it draw a stencil and cut it with scissors or uh, a scalpel. I'm actually just going to rip the paper. You don't have to be too precise, obviously that's not the sort of look that you're going for. You just want to make sure most, most of it's covered. You might not, you might just want to do the corner. So you really can adapt this to any, any style you want. Okay, now the paper's been made the right size, you're going to pop it in there. Hello Bam Bam in the water and leave it to soak for about five minutes. Okay, whilst we're waiting for the paper, let's mix up the PVA. So I usually do about half PVA, half water. PVA is quite thick, but once you put the water in it, you want it about I don't know, the consistency of single cream. So mix that up and let's go outside and see how the paper's getting on. Okay, so your paper's been soaking. Mine's been in there for about five minutes. There it comes. It doesn't matter that it was all layered together. Now, I did say you need to take the back off the paper, but I quite like the way this is looking. I kind of want it to look like torn pages and the, the paper's really thin so it's, I don't think it's going to wrinkle so here we go let's put it on so you want to coat the back piece in the, the PVA mixture because the paper's wet you don't have to work that quickly the wetter it is the less wrinkles you're, you're actually going to get you want to make sure that's all over it. I'm just going to put that away. Doesn't matter if it's really soaking. And then you just want to get it into position. Doesn't matter if some bits are going over the sides. As you can see, that's on. Now, this is where you want to get the PVA again and go over the top and make sure it's nice and flat but the water 
and this is the reason for soaking it we'll make sure it stays nice and flat go around the edges it doesn't matter if you think oh it's it's too wet it doesn't matter because it will dry especially if we're doing this outside today and then actually do the whole table so you get the same color variation if you are leaving some of the the table exposed so as you can see you don't need to be precise you can just sort of whack it on and it will look like that no wrinkles and we will just leave that we'll leave that to dry now all the tops dry and what I've actually done is gone and, and ripped up a few little bits and pieces and just pop them pop them around drying no wrinkles and the bits that were actually flapped over the sides um, that I was going to sand off I've actually just folded them around which I think works quite well now the bit that you can see there that's white what I'm actually going to do is go over the whole piece now with pure PVA um, just gets up any little bits that um, aren't sticking down okay so it's all done as you can see the top is completely flat got a really nice ripped effect that I wanted now if you would took the backing off this paper it would have been slightly more translucent but I quite like the effect of it and if you feel it it feels completely flat now I have sealed it with a clear varnish you can use any type of varnish um, I, I tend to find a water based one is better um, because a, an oil based one will go will go yellow what might be quite nice is if you use a coloured varnish um, sort of like a teak colour because that would look like really old paper then would look quite nice so there you are, decoupage thank you for joining me thank you from Bam and Tilly if you've got any questions please go on my Facebook page which is Bam Tilly Interiors and I'm happy to answer any questions